This is the new Split Pad Pro attachment set made by Hori. It retails for about $80, features the Hori Split Pad Pro itself, as well as this new wired attachment controller. It's an officially licensed product by Nintendo and can be used both with the OLED Switch as well as the original Switch. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at this new attachment set, compare it a little bit to Nintendo's Switch Pro controller, and try to answer the question of is it worth the money? So let's get started. So first things first, let's talk a little bit about the pricing so you can have a better understanding of what you're purchasing. So what we're taking a look at in this video is the $80 Hori Split Pad Pro attachment set. So what you get for that is you get the actual Hori Split Pad Pro itself, as well as this new wired attachment controller. If you are interested in purchasing this Hori Split Pad attachment set, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. Be sure to use that if you're going to purchase this. It really helps me grow my channel. If you're just looking to get the Hori Split Pad Pro itself, that retails for a bit cheaper, about $45 to $50, and does not include this wired controller. So if you are only interested in the Hori Split Pad Pro, I'd highly recommend you check out another video that I did. I went and did a full detailed review on just the Hori Split Pad Pro, nothing to do with this new attachment controller. So be sure to check that video out if you're just interested in the actual Hori Split Pad Pro itself. Okay, so taking a look at everything that we get inside the actual box, there's really not a ton here. First thing I want to note is that at the time of filming this video, it is only available in black. So if you do want to get this attachment set, you can only get it in black. If you purchase the $45 to $50 Just Hori Split Pad Pro, you'll have a ton of different color options. But only available in black for the attachment set and really not a whole lot to this unboxing. You pretty much just get the actual Hori Split Pad Pro itself. You get that new wired attachment controller and then you get some manuals that we're not going to worry about. Now attaching the Hori Split Pad Pro to this new accessory is pretty simple. It's just like attaching it to the switch. You just want to slide those on there and they'll be secured into the new attachment set or attachment controller, whatever you want to call it. So let's move on to some of the features that this new attachment controller actually offers. And there's pros and cons here, so let's start with the pros. So the first nice thing here is that it does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone or microphone jack. So you can plug in a headphones or, or a microphone to actually communicate with people if you use your switch online to, to chat with friends. You also notice that there are physical buttons to actually mute the mic or turn the headset volume up or down. So really nice to see those buttons there. Actually, I was a pretty big fan of that. Now, obviously the big feature here, the whole point of buying this is that you can actually plug this in to the Nintendo Switch dock. Key point there being the Nintendo Switch dock. Once it's plugged in, you then have a full-size kind of gaming controller experience as if you were like using a PlayStation or Xbox controller. You can sit back on your couch or chair and use the Hori Split Pad Pro as if it was a full-size controller. Now, if you only buy the Hori Split Pad Pro, you're not gonna get this ability. You're only gonna be able to use it while it's in the portable mode for the actual Switch itself. So if you wanna use the full-size controller experience kind of while you're laying back on the couch and have your Switch in dock mode, you're gonna need this attachment set. And overall, it is a pretty nice controller. It's, it's actually a little bit larger than the, the Xbox or the PlayStation or even Nintendo's Switch Pro controller, which is something that I like because I have bigger hands. So it was very comfortable for me to hold and sit back and just play some games on. That being said, there are a few cons that we definitely need to talk about. So let's talk about some of the cons that aren't the greatest with this attachment set by Hori. First things first, it is wired. Uh, I'm a huge fan of wireless. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments down below, but I really like having things wireless. This is an $80 controller that is not even wireless. So a little bit of a, a hassle there for me. The cord itself is also only about 10 feet long, which might sound like a good length for a cord, but depending on your gaming setup, uh, you might not have as much slack as you would like. So before you purchase this, just keep in mind that it is wired and the cord itself is only about 10 feet long. So you might wanna measure how far your TV is to your couch or your chair. Now it is USB type A, not USB type C. So usually if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that I, I'm a huge fan of USB type C and I don't know why companies even do different USBs anymore. But there's a good point here, and I'm going to give Hori uh, some slack with this one. So first off, you need to connect this to the actual Nintendo Switch dock. You cannot connect this controller to the actual Nintendo Switch itself. In fact, if they would have used USB-C, you wouldn't have been able to actually use this attachment set at all just because the actual USB port is located on the bottom of the Nintendo Switch. So you wouldn't be able to use it at all. So they kind of didn't have a choice here. They had to use USB type A. I'll give them some slack on this one. If you're going to be looking for vibration, motion controls, or NFC in this controller, 
it's not there. It is not present, unfortunately. So this I consider a huge con, especially when you consider the actual Switch Pro controller, which is wireless. It features vibration, it features NFC, and it features motion controls. This Hori Slip Pad Pro attachment, none of those three things are included. And not to mention, but the Switch Pro controller made by Nintendo is actually a little bit cheaper than this wired Hori attachment set. So keep that in mind too, as you're making your purchasing decision. So those are some of the cons. We already talked about some of the pros of this attachment set. Now I wanna go on and talk about who this product is actually for, because I think they're targeting a specific group of people with this attachment set. So I think this is for people who use their Switch kind of 50-50 in two different modes, 50% portable and 50% actually docked, sitting on your couch, playing the Switch on the TV. Now, the reason I say that is because for $80, you get the actual Hori Split Pad Pro itself. So if you wanna use this portably, you can actually attach those to the Nintendo Switch go out and about, go on a plane, go on a bus, and have that full-size controller experience while you are mobile and walking around, while it's, while it's portable. However, when you come home at the end of the day, if you wanna throw your Switch into the dock, sit back on the couch and have a full-size controller, you can then attach it to this set and you now have the full-size controller experience while you're actually on the couch. You can't necessarily do that if you don't have this attachment and you just buy the Hori Split Pad Pro. So if you're someone who uses their Switch kind of 50-50, 50% in docked mode and 50% portable, you might wanna consider this. That being said, do I actually think that this product is worth it? I'm actually gonna say no in this video and keep in mind, you can make your own purchasing decision. But for me personally, I don't think this product is worth the $80 price tag and let me tell you why. Now, the number one reason why I don't think this is worth the $80 price tag is because Nintendo's official Switch Pro controller is only $80, and that is a wireless controller, it features vibration, it features NFC, and it features motion controls if you're into motion controls. What I would rather do with my money, this is gonna cost you about $40 extra, but if you really want some sort of full-size controller experience while you are gaming, I would just purchase the $45 to $50 Hori Split Pad Pro itself, for when you're on the go and want a portable Switch. And then I would go out and spend $70 on the actual Nintendo Switch Pro controller for when I'm at home and I'm sitting on the couch and wanna use my Switch on the TV. Now, if you do that, you're gonna pay $50 for the actual Hori Split Pad Pro and $70 for the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So that brings your total to about $120. Now, if you do this attachment set, it still is only $80. So you're saving that $40. So that's really the question you need to ask yourself is, is the $40 worth it to have a wireless controller, vibration, NFC support, motion controls, all of those things? If it's not worth $40, then this attachment set might be a good deal for you. For me personally though, I would rather spend the extra $40 and just have two separate controllers. Have the Hori Split Pad Pro for when I'm out and about and portable, and have the actual official Nintendo Switch Pro controller when I'm at home on the couch. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if you're gonna be picking this up or not. Be sure to like this video and please subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.